Welcome back to another episode of That Fire FM TV. I'm your host, Soul the Vegan Goddess, and we have a beautiful young lady in the building tonight. She is from Monroe, North Carolina. She's an R&B singing diva, from what I understand, and she's here to bless us this evening with her presence. Let us welcome Miss Amanda Barino. Give her some love, y'all. <laughs> bless you. How are you, Amanda? I am well, I'm well. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Blessed, tell our viewers what is going on in your musical world at this time. I feel like it's so much. It is. <laughs> it, I'm all over the place in this thing, literally. It's, it's, a, it's a lot going on. You know, a lot of um, independent stuff, a lot of solo stuff, a lot of writing. Nice. Um, a lot of collaborations and play. Awesome. It's everything. Videos, awesome. movies, short films, everything. It's so much. What's the new music that's out right now? <clears throat> well, right now, it's new music out. I had a song that came out in August of last year called So Into You. That was a really, really good hit. And then on Valentine's Day, I actually had um, a single drop called Missing You for those that have a lover that they're missing on that special day. That's that's a really good one as well. Nice. So those are my new, my new music that's out right now. Yes, yes. So, wow. So, Monroe, North Carolina, um, that's like right up the street almost from where I live. I feel so special knowing that I'm close to you like that. <laughs> oh, that just warms my heart. Okay. Lesson. So, um, give us a little bit of background on your history. How long have you been singing? Are you? I, and I know I heard you say you're an independent artist, and I'm I totally like yes, that's what we need to be right now. Give us a little bit of background on your on who you are and 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 what has inspired all this greatness in you. Okay, so a little bit about me. I've been singing as far back as I can remember. I know maybe like three or four, literally. Yeah. I've been singing my entire life. And I think around maybe the age of about 13, 14, I realized, okay, I wanna actually sing. I wanna write music. I wanna be able to inspire people and actually try to show people what I have. Instead yeah. of just, you know, always being in church and stuff like that. So it went from that to going off to college, meeting DJs and producers and mm. engineers and other singers, and band members, and being able to be around a collaborative, a collaborative um, group of people where I could actually grow my craft and actually figure out who I was yes. musically by being around so many different things and people and sounds and voices and I'm um, blue my mind and I'm like oh my goodness <laughs> Wait, this is what I want to do we got to do yes. it because this could change the world and listen it's been uphill mm. from there literally Less it's been Blessed. Awesome. Well, what, what would you say is like, you know, music is such a powerful gift to have because you're 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 pouring out words. Um, you got melodies going on. What, what would you say is the overall message in your music? Um, <clears throat> the overall message in my music is love. Because I feel like love is so powerful that it can change That's right. anything. And yes. it's positive. It's always positive. It's caring. It's giving. It's everything. So yes. overall, it should always be love. And I just want to push that with everything that's in me. And I feel Bless like it can it. Ever change. Yes. Yeah. And then with growing up in the church, I know you got a gospel background going on and everything. Mm -hmm. So what other artists have helped to inspire and um, um, like guide you on your journey? Well, I wouldn't necessarily be able to say that any artists have assisted in guidance. Well, I mean, who has inspired you? What are the artists out there that you'd be like, wow, yes, I, I want to be like on this level. I, you know, I want to do it like this. Um. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really hard for me because it's like I've never really had one artist that I look to for that because yeah. it's so many different artists that have so many different qualities and they create so many different, you know, niches and, and just avenues for people to flourish and be themselves. So it's like yes. just music overall, because I love all types of music. I don't really have a specific, 
Got and I'm it. more of like, I like the independent artist because that's where you find the real creativity. Yes, definitely. Um, definitely. Where you control your vision, you control right. what you actually perform. Right. You know, you can have, take part in um, uh, setting up how you want to do your videos. Exactly. All of it. Yeah. That's and it, it. So it's, I don't really it's have so one. much more work, but it's so many more blessings when you do it independently, I think. It is. Bless it. it. Is. Yes. The greatest thing about it for me is that. I like, I'm, I'm natural, you know, I like to do that. I really like the whole nails and hair and color and stuff like that. So it's just like, this gives me the opportunity to be myself unapologetically and I don't have to try to convince anybody for me to be myself. I can just do it however I want to. So, yes. so, so I would say in that aspect, maybe Erica Badu because she's always been herself unapologetically, yes. like full-fledged. I think it's just dope. Blessing. So if it was any <laughs> artist you could collaborate with, anybody on the planet, who would that be? Ooh. That's a hard question. Man. That's a big question. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> it was anybody that I could collaborate with right yes. now at the drop of a dime. Mm -hmm. I would say, hmm, if Betty Wright was still living, ah. man, listen. Okay. Look. Girl, is Betty Wright dead? Oh, my Lord. I'm late. Forgive me. <laughs> Rest in peace, Betty girl. You did Listen, that. Listen, I would love. Yeah, she did that. She did that. And she was what? uniquely her own as well. Right. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. So tell us, do you have any shows coming up? Any tours manifesting? What's going on in that arena? Well, I'm definitely manifesting some tours. I've been trying to stick my fingers into a couple of these jazz clubs and mm. these... Um, the spots where they allow artists to be themselves freely. Yes. So I'm working on that currently. Definitely. Right now. Working awesome. on that currently. But I do have a show coming up in May, at the end of May, on May the 28th. I'll be in Houston, Texas mm -hmm. um, in May. I don't recall the name of the venue, but that's what I have coming awesome. up. Awesome. Right and now. where can our viewers find your music right now? Your view viewers, you can find my music everywhere it's on every platform worldwide globally everywhere except except for russia but it's everywhere for awesome <laughs> for russia. and yep. it's all under amanda barino right amanda barino yes awesome mm -hmm. wonderful wonderful so um on your current project do you have any um other artists that you've worked with that you collaborated with on your on your you know on what you got going on right now well, no, I don't have any artists that I'm currently collaborating with on any of my own projects. However, I am collaborating with other artists on their on projects. Theirs. Yeah. On their projects. Because I want to try to at least take this season for me to see what can be done without any features and without any collaborations. However, I do have a writing partner. Uh, his name is Antonio Maynes. He assists me in creating these amazing visions and it's just awesome nice. so if i would say a collaborator it would be him but yes. he's not vocally present on anything as far as you know the collaborative effort let's say and at what point did you realize that you were a great songwriter i don't think i've ever realized i was a great songwriter but i still you, haven't realized <laughs> but you create great songs <laughs> I mean, I guess I look at it like this because I just try to tell the truth. I try yeah. to tell real stories and I try to share pieces of me. Yeah. You know and I feel like it can definitely get better and it can be greater because there are artists that have these amazing works. And I'm like, oh, my God, I want to write a song like that. Oh, my yeah. God, I want to write a song like that. So it's like to me, those are the great songwriters yes. if they wrote it or whoever. But those are the great songwriters. And it's, I'm just aspiring to be that kind of way so i'm just like yeah i, I think i'm pretty you. dope you yeah, know just keep but. doing it girl keep doing it you know and 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 it all just lines up and it turns out to be the beautiful art that 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 manifests at the end of it all wow so what about your um your your team let's just say do you have a network um you know as an independent artist you know we gotta kind of Ooh, we got a lot to manage. So you need a team, you need a production team. How is that working out for you? Do you want the truth? Give us or the truth, girl. 
Let me tell you something. That's something that I am actually currently still working on. Yes. Um, I started out with a team, great team. But whenever things happen and whenever progression starts, mm. everybody everybody is not always excited to see you progress to the next level if it's not something that they had their hands in like immediately. Yeah, <laughs> and I understand. It's, it's, I'm so kidding. I've had to chop, 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 chop. Yeah. And I've had to pull on new pieces as I go. So so when you listen to music, who do you listen to? When you're actually chilling at home on a Sunday afternoon or riding in your whip, you know, who are you listening to? I listen to, well, let's say I listen to, um, um, what's her name? Savannah Christina, mm. um, Dorea Banner, okay, uh, Bilal, mm -hmm. uh, Jesse Boykin, mm. uh, Ari I love Lennox. This music. Oh my goodness! Yes. Yeah. Listen, I I think I'm a little strange because I listen to the stuff that most people wouldn't listen to. Yeah, it's, it's find like, an eclectic sound there. Yes, it's like an almost like an alternative R and B type of energy that's not quite mainstream, but is dope as I don't know what. Yes, definitely. I love it. I love it. that's that's my whole vibe right there. I be trying to be up into that soul with the live instruments and the big deep bass lines. That's where you can it. Feel it. And do you feel play it. any instruments by chance? I play chords, vocal chords. <laughs> Girl, I feel you. <laughs> I can't play any instruments. I tried. Listen, I took lessons for years, honey. When I tell you, these fingers just won't do it. Okay. <laughs> I tried. It just, I tried. It's all good. But look, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to take a quick break. We are here with Amanda Marino. She's in the building, y'all. We're excited. We're going to um, be back with you in a few short minutes here at That Fire FM TV. Hold on, don't go away.
and we're back um, here at that fire FM TV I tell y'all every Saturday night at 10 p.m. we be here we be having it going on we have the goddess miss Amanda Barino in the building tonight y'all <laughs> she's sharing all of her the wonderful journey um, that she is on at this time um, building her beautiful um, career uh, in R&B and so was it anything uh, specific that did you feel like you just naturally R&B is your genre or do you do, you know because like me I'm like R&B but I love me some bad and some little rap energy and some rock energy and stuff like that so um how do you how do you classify yourself would you say you're strictly R&B or you're what I'm nowhere near strictly R&B. Okay. If I were to pull out my catalog right now, you'll be trying to figure out where I am because I go <laughs> with the flow, I go with the energy, and I push what's needed or whatever mm -hmm. comes to me. That's how I give it out. So yeah. it's like, you know, everybody's trying to force me to pick a lane. I'm like, guess what? <laughs> I'm okay. not picking a lane. Exactly. I want to be outside of the box, so we just go call it outside the box. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> So, so do you have any merchandise right now um, reflecting, you know, like your singles or any tours or shows that you got going on? Any merchandise that our viewers can check out? Yes, actually, I do have merchandise. I have merchandise, um, bonfire.com backslash lovely mandy that's mm. my merchandise it is there it showcases my um some some of the things for my singles and i actually have new merch coming um with under armor nike still working on it it should be here within the next four months and it'll be uploaded onto the site as well backpacks water canteens because it's gonna be hot summertime but yes definitely have some merch definitely nice nice wow so where do you see yourself in about five years from now? I mean, um, um, you've been singing since you were three and uh, you're writing music. And um, had you ever considered um, uh, writing music for other artists at all? Yes, I Let's have. See. I've actually been working on a few pieces. I have about, I say, 25 songs that I've written to shop two other artists both male and female nice. and I have like two group joints yes. that I would like to try to work I just got to try to find the market and who definitely because girl that's where the money is it's in that publishing <laughs> it's really in that publishing you get that song writing credits going on yes. up in there and you ain't even got to do nothing but collect them checks <laughs> <laughs> right. working on that right now but yeah definitely exactly um, but I would say in the next five years, I see myself actually doing a lot because <clears throat> I do a lot of volunteer work and it's a lot of things that I want to try to push out into the community and try to implement, especially with children, mm -hmm. you know, like some um, production classes. Like I've been taking little production classes and engineering classes so that I can host free community classes for children to learn how to, you know, try to mix their own music or do a rough mix or do their own production and create sounds and stuff awesome. like that. So it's a lot of stuff that I want to do in the next five years. I see myself as being so much more than an artist, but maybe I don't want to call myself a public figure, more mm. of like a, a public servant or a community mm. servant or somebody I that can it. just give and give yes. and give and give. You That's where we are right, right now. It's so crucial, so critical that we do that that giving. Right. So much in the world is just all about taking and taking and sucking off of us, and and not enough of us are really giving. So that that's a, that's a really beautiful thing. Right. Um, any advice you can give to other um, artists and songwriters, just based on your experience, things that you've gone through. Um, any advice that you have for other artists coming up, um, singers, songwriters? Yes, artists. Singers and songwriters, my advice to you is to be yourself. Mm. Go with how you feel. Remember that everybody does not want to see you be successful. Mm. Everybody does not want to see what you love flourish and become what it is. Mm -hmm. So go with your gut. Follow your heart. If you love it, it doesn't matter if anybody else loves it as long as you do because that That's baby right. will soon turn into an adult. Just gotta believe in it. Yeah. And don't, don't take advice from a lot of artists because what that artist like may not be what you like and mm. they make you the wrong mm -hmm. advice. Mm -hmm. So do you, be you, don't let anybody change anything about you unless it's something that you want to change for you. 
less that great advice I, I think what what I continue to hear so often I think we're just in this age of authenticity you know we're in this realm where we're realizing that our most unique authentic self is what is best to present to the world around us and our and when we embrace our uniqueness it, it just opens doors that never would if we were just trying to emulate what's already going on out there. So I think that's some really great advice. Really, really great advice. I think it's important. We were created the way we were created so that we could be ourselves. And if we're giving a specific energy that we're supposed to push out into the world, mm. never know who might need that organic energy that you have. You know what I'm saying? Just never really know. So it's best to be yourself. Don't try to be like anybody else. That's it. Definitely. Any shout outs you want to give to any of your folks? <laughs> yeah, I do. I have a few shout outs, a few shout outs. Um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to the Most High because without him, it wouldn't be possible. That's right. Um, I want to give a shout out to um, Clark Star Entertainment, Royal Re Entertainment, Rich Count Entertainment, that's family, um, um, Back in the Woods Entertainment, and most of all, I'm with a little a label right now for distribution that is Rich Nation Entertainment underneath mm. Sony. Definitely want to give them a shout out. And to all of my fans, all of my supporters, everybody that loves me, I love you back. I thank you for supporting me. Yes. And shout out to that fire. That's it. <laughs> That's what's up. That is what's up. So, yeah. so people know me as uh, you know. I'm soul. I'm the vegan goddess. It's, it's just my mantra, my constant mantra. I'm trying to help save the planet and help save the animals and help save our health as human beings as well as our sanity. Because, um, so I always ask my guests, where are you on your vegan journey? Are, are, are you vegan? Are you vegan curious? Or I've never been vegan. I tried it, I liked it, or I tried it, I didn't like it. Where are you on your vegan journey? Well, I'm in the process of transitioning into the veganism because I do, you know, do the vegan meals and I do, you know, the meat substitutes and stuff like that. Yeah. But I'm, just, I'm trying to figure out. <clears throat> A nice balance because you know I have a little person too and he likes chicken he just loves he loves chicken so, <laughs> you know and it's just just trying to find that balance because I don't really do a lot of meat already we do mm -hmm. a lot of veggies so that's good I'm pretty sure by this time next year I'll probably be fully transitioning into vegan because you know since been doing most of the veggies I've been slim my whole life but I've been gaining some weight oh my goodness yeah I get hips <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're gaining it in the right place then. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, so yes, we are so thankful that you had an opportunity to come and sit and chat with us. You know, I, I, um, I know so much is going on and um, we wish you the absolute best of success. You know, anything you want to leave with our viewers before we go? Um, any last words to share? Um, Anything. Any last words, anything to share. <clears throat> if you're ever in a place or a space where you're overwhelmed, you're frustrated, take a deep breath, let it go, and remember, your neighbor loves you just as much as, the, as you love them. They just don't know it yet. So be, be sure to share that. That's and it. Spread that. Spread that love. Less that. Less that. And where also can our viewers find all your your music, all the different platforms where we can find your music? All right. So of course, most people do. Um, you know, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify, Tidal, Deezer, Apple Music, Amazon Music. Um, am I missing one? Those are like the major ones, Gosh. literally. So they're on. It's on all platforms. You can find it on YouTube, YouTube Music, um, anywhere where you can get music, download music, stream music. You'll be able to find me mm -hmm. on all those platforms. Just search for Amanda Barino. It'll be there. Awesome, be there. awesome. And I know we, we we're not gonna mention this in a big old way, but 
I just gotta tell our viewers that you come from a very musical family. Um, Y'all, she is related to Miss Fantasia, Ben Barino, and Jodeci, and all of that good stuff. But it's really yeah. all about you, Miss Amanda. And, yeah. and, and that's that's the beauty of it all, that God yeah. has blessed your family and your everything with this right. awesome talent. And so we just, we just, we just thank you. And we just ask that you always be your best, bring your best, make certain that what you pour out into the universe and into the world is something that's going to empower and uplift people and you love to sing about love so that's going to do it every time <laughs> i do i really i do because it's so important and we need to know that it's somebody out here that's going to love us the way that we need to be loved and we want yes. it to be loved just gotta be patient and wait for it so i that's got to i just i just have to Awesome. Thank you guys awesome. so much for inviting me. This has been amazing and I love your energy. I love it. Bless it. Bless it. All righty. Well, we thank you once again and we thank all of our viewers for checking with us every Saturday night at 10 p.m. right here at that Fire FM TV, y'all. I am so the vegan goddess and we'll see you next Saturday. Peace and love. Yeah.